What's up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. I told you guys in my previous video, we are going to get two new weapons in the Nitro shop. They're finally here guys and in today's video, we look at the stats and we compare with some of the best weapons in the game. Now we'll start with the Gridlock AR. It's pretty interesting because it seems like we have a new king in town, guys. If I ask you guys like two days ago, what is the best AR in the game? And it's a question I get almost every day in the live stream. People come to the stream and say, hey, what's the best weapon? What's the best AR? And nobody seems to agree. People will say Nico. Some other players will say Faraday. There are a bunch of good weapons in the game. And other weapons are also very popular out of outside of Nico and Faraday. I'm taking the Fire Fist AR, the Shadow was pretty popular, and the Fast Fire Rate like Skull Blaster and Angry Hornet, uh, the high accuracy weapons like the Nordic Guard 49, there's a lot of good ARs and it comes down to personal preference. Most players will say either Nico or Faraday and the PvP guys, they really really like Faraday because of the little extra damage, time to kill, it's a very good weapon. Nico in PvE, it's got fast fire rate, super nice accuracy, and much more uh, bullets in the magazine. So today we compare good luck with Faraday and Nico, and you will see what I'm talking about. Let's start with Faraday. You see the numbers in green on the grid luck. Everything is green except the damage. So the grid luck's got a little less damage than Faraday. 158.4 on the Faraday and 149.6, but everything else, fast fire rate, better accuracy, better range, and a couple more bullets in the mag cannot hurt, especially in PvP. Uh, you don't want to reload in the middle of a fight. So Gridlock looks really good on paper. And a comment I've seen on the social medias, Discord, etc. Everyone is loving it and it seems like PvP meta right now is all Gridlock. Now if you compare it to Nico, it's the other way around. A little more damage than Nico. Everything else is just a little bit lower. So 149.6 on the gridlock. Nico is 132. Uh, the fire rate is a bit faster on Nico. Better accuracy, better range, and lots of ammo, of course. So it's pretty much in the middle, uh, in between Faraday and Nico. So if you preferred Faraday over Nico, or if you preferred Nico over Faraday, and you were a bit in between, well, this weapon's for you guys because it is in between. The damage is in the middle everything else also in the middle so it's looking like a really well balanced weapon and it's gonna be good i'm 100 percent sure in both pve and pvp now if you're a pve guy you might want to wait and keep your war points and try to buy one with good perks you guys know the perks are not fixed they will change every six hours when the shop refresh so be patient guys because it's gonna stay here a while you don't want to jump on the first one, it's very expensive, 1400 war points, unless you're a crazy active PvP player, 1400 war points is, is a bit of a grind, right? If you don't like PvP and you don't play much, it's gonna be, it's gonna hurt when you buy, so better wait and buy a good one. You're looking for the damage perks most of the time, top, that, top perks on weapons is all for damage perks, okay? Uh, then of course, a magazine cap would be nice, fire rate is always good. Uh, extra accuracy maybe but definitely you want the damage perks so if you have three damage perks and accuracy or three damage perks magazine or three damage perks and uh fire rate but look for high numbers also because they will come and they will rotate and they will change many many times so be patient guys now next one we'll go real quick and then we'll move to some gameplay but the rocket launcher the candy even more expensive 1500 if you guys don't play rocket launchers it's gonna be very expensive again uh, the perks don't matter that much like these rocket launchers don't crit so you might want to look for damage damage to elite maybe reload speed or something uh, accuracy iron sight damage um, but yeah compared to the legendary rocket launchers it's got a little bit less damage okay the other uh, the legendary rocket launchers they have the same damage but the fire rate is a bit faster so it's gonna shoot faster accuracy and range is pretty standard on rocket launchers. If you compare to uh, the the Slate Shitstorm, uh, it's gonna be the same. But the Bestia has got a little more um, accuracy, a little better, but not a big difference. So I'm gonna buy both. I'm gonna go with some gameplay guys for you at the end. So watch the gameplay. Look how amazing these weapons look. And again, be patient before you buy. You might wanna choose your perks. 
if you play PvE. If you play PvP, it doesn't matter much. Once again, the weapon perks don't work in PvP, so no big deal. If it's for PvP, just buy the first one, I guess. And uh, have some fun, guys, because this one's here to stay, and uh, people are loving it. So, leaving you guys with some gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guys, I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. Let's do this.